Russia is concerned about the concentration of U.S. military equipment on its borders. More than 1,000 U.S. armored vehicles have arrived in the Dutch port of Vlaisingen and will soon be sent to Poland and Lithuania. Experts are confident that the reinforcement of NATO's eastern flank, which was stepped up after the onset of the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, will continue in the foreseeable future. This, among other things, opens additional opportunities for more Western weapons supplies to Ukraine. Russian Commissant writes, according to NATO's logic, these steps are being taken in response to Moscow's actions, which means that there are currently no factors that could change the situation. Russian International Affairs Council, RIAC, Director General Andrei Kachanov believes that apart from directly contributing to strengthening and rearming the bloc's eastern member states, the deliveries of US-made equipment to these countries are also creating other risks for Russia. The arrival of advanced heavy weapons to the countries on NATO's eastern flank may further boost efforts to provide Ukraine with the no longer needed arms systems, including Soviet-made ones, that is, everything that they have left. It's not much, but still, the RIAC chief explained. He pointed to the gradual replacement process, where Eastern European countries were getting advanced weapons and older weapons were being redeployed to Ukraine. New supplies are strengthening the forces that are stationed in the region, and NATO is unlikely to reconsider this policy in the near future. It is an essential issue both from a political and military technical standpoint, the expert emphasized. Moscow has repeatedly stated that the West's support of Ukraine, including equipment supplies and troop training, is prolonging the hostilities.